प्रिंसिपल सेक्रेटरी बेन अंजू बेन वाइस चांसलर नवीन भाई सेठ एंड डियर फ्रेंड्स पार्टिसिपेंट्स गुड इवनिंग टू ऑल आई वेलकम यू ऑल इन दिस प्रोग्राम ऑन दिस स्पेशल डे फॉर गुजरात फ्रेंड्स टुडे इज a gujarat foundation day i congratulate you all on this auspicious day the corona virus outbreak which was first detected in china as infected people in 185 countries in fact more than 100 countries have restricted their travel with our other countries of the world its spread has left international business around the world into huge losses its impact on global economy are stock markets the world over have crashed as compared to the stock process of december 2019 demand for oil has all but dried up as lockdowns across the world have kept people inside but the international monetary fund imf and other international rating agencies international say that agencies say that global economy will think by 1.524% this year in china where the coronavirus first appeared industrial production sales and investment all fell the first 3 months of the year compared with the same period in 2019 the outbreak which has infected more than 2.6 million people and killed more than 2 lakhs people globally has also crippled manufacturing setting factories and disturbing life chains the mobility and work disruptions have led to decline in chinese consumption squeezing multinational companies in several sectors including aviation education abroad infrastructure tourism entertainment hospitality electronics consumers and luxury goods the corona virus outbreak has sent severe down the spine of the global economy it has disrupted the complex global supply chain network but crisis moments also present opportunity opportunity for india under the able leadership of honorable prime minister narendra bhai modi india has successfully controlled the transmission of covid-19 till date thanks to our well coordinated steps to tackle the corona epidemic india's process uh, progress in pharmaceutical health science mass public awareness with the help of digital system and a central political command among others indeed helped in containing the spread so far china accounts for close to 30% of global exports of electronics and electronic components this 
significant dependence or in some cases over dependence on china is hurting the global economy and companies are now on a out look out for alternative production hubs nowadays we have as india a great opportunity in the world but in the country gujarat has the bright opportunity because we have arranged nine vibrant gujarat program in 2021 january when we are going to organize a vibrant gujarat personally i believe who have invested their industry in china in this scenario i think they will think to come out from china where to go india is the best place the and in india gujarat is the best place and nobody will invest more nowadays next in china the moment of companies away from china to other less developed countries would trigger a new wave of industrialization sequentially the expansion of the manufacturing hub linked with global supply chains would increase not only productivity but also create large scale employment the outbreak of covid 19 in the country should be seen as a blessing in this guy for indian industry and india can emerge as a potential alternative choice for cost efficient quality products which are preferred from china we can bring large scale foreign investment in the country to manufacture innovative products and nowadays we are ahead in innovation work in all over the world india is ahead and in the country gujarat is ahead for innovative work incubators have started their working new startups are coming up in last survey gujarat is in top of the rank in innovation work which will help increase our exports honorable minister gadkari said adding that all government departments are working in this direction in a recent talk at iim calcutta the chief economic advisor mentioned that the outbreak of coronavirus provides a good opportunity for india to follow an export driven model india does not only have the potential to match china in terms of scale but it is and old with rich pool of unskilled labor which can be trained to the required job what india needs is a more sophisticated and flexible use of technology manpower ready to learn new skills a population that is ready to change for a brighter future again i congratulate uh, navin bhai and gtu for choosing this proper subject at a proper time jai jai garbi gujarat